Hello everyone and welcome back to Rainy Day Reactions with Chris and Nia. Today we're continuing on with Bates Motel Season 1 Episode 6 called The Truth. But first, what happened in the last episode? Well, Norma got bailed out by Norman. Mm -hmm. um, Dylan was with Ethan and then Ethan got shot after he loaned them the money. Mm -hmm. And totally did not see that coming. I know. I I like Ethan. I'm hoping he doesn't die, but I thought he was gonna die, and then Dylan wasn't gonna have to pay him back. Yeah, I, I thought that. <laughs> I thought that for a second too. Yeah, and also Dylan retaliated like pretty much the same day. Well, it was the same day. Um, and then what else did we get? Uh, Norma being petty as fuck with Norman, <laughs> which was kind of frustrating to watch, but yet she like works her magic with everyone especially with shelby which is shelby which yeah she gripped him she's back in her grip he's but yeah yeah <laughs> and speaking of shelby and kind of what you're talking about is they uh norman and emma found the girl or the young woman and i don't know what norma's gonna do yeah she seems surprised i think we yeah we mentioned it in the last episode at the end mm -hmm. but she looks surprised for some reason like she was falling like, for Shelby, like yeah, which made no sense because she's you know, the one manipulating him. You yeah. know what I think it is? I think it's maybe she started getting used to the idea that she had um, some like companionship, hmm. regardless of like you know how they were using each other. Yeah, it was still nice, and now she's put in a weird spot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Think that's everything. You mm -hmm. ready? Yeah. All right. Let's go. Horrible. What is she gonna she do? so much already. She just left. Where's she going? Wait, where'd she go? She's calling oh, Shelby. Yeah. <gasps> She's gonna go tell Shelby. Jump in the fucking yeah. window, you idiot. <laughs> there you Don't go. Do this, <laughs> She's like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> like, Emma, welcome to my family. <laughs> He's a bad guy and we will get him. We just have to do it the right way. Okay. Okay. Now go find the damn keys. They're so bipolar with each other. She just... She goes from being really, really emotional to whatever. And then... I know, what the fuck? He was already gone. What? Shit, what? I'm sorry. He died? Would you recognize this son of a bitch? You gonna tell him? Oh. I already ran his ass over. He's dead. Kudos. You killed him? I, I, I happened to see him as I drove back from the hospital. I just knew that piece of shit killed Ethan. This is like his initiation. You stepped up. You handled things in the moment. That's good work. That means something to me. You're right, and then move up quick. He didn't even blink though about Ethan though. Yeah. I mean to people like that, does it make sense? As soon as you're done admiring your handiwork, we can get the hell out of here. <laughs> Gil sent me to pick you up. Let's go. Name's Remo. Remo? So That's Remo. A weird name. Remo. How long have you been working for Gil? Well, that's longer than you. 23 years. Holy Yay. shit. Seasoned professional. Yeah. No, you're this totally seasoned. Fucking cocky. Don't mock me, boy. I'm not mocking you. I pick stuff up fast. You're, you're not going to be sorry that I'm working for you. You're not working for me, dickhead. I'm working for you. Huh? She's being nice to someone. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I don't trust her, though. What is she thinking? You know, we have mm -hmm. to give her some time to recover. We can't. That guy's gonna realize she's gone, and then what? He's totally no. dangerous. He needs to be locked she's up. She's right. No, I yeah. say we call the FBI right this second. We're yes. not gonna do that, Emma. What? But don't we have to move quickly? Plan yes. does she have? And and we will, honey. We will. Just not right now. Later, Emma. Later. No, you need to go now. Yeah, I have a feeling Norma's got like. Yeah, she's gonna do something to, yeah. to her. Bye. She's gonna manipulate her with this mommy uh, act. I know, right? I don't know. I, don't, I think Emma's not that stupid, though. There's no way in hell we're going to the police tomorrow. 
or any day till we get that belt. Okay. Goes, okay, that that does make sense. <laughs> Is there something wrong with me? No, honey, no. I just said that. We have to we have to focus mm. on getting that belt back. The one that Shelby has? <laughs> Girl in the basement I told you about? Mm-hmm. We found her. Does Shelby know she's missing? No way of knowing. If you turn him in, then he's gonna turn in Norma. That's why she Where's needs the boat? belt. Down in the harbor. Yeah. Don't go anywhere, don't talk to anybody, and then don't do anything until we get back. We're gonna get that belt. So you're really gonna do it? You're really gonna move out? I already got the keys? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. And so are you. But what about Mom? You gotta let her go. Hmm. She's just gonna bring you down with her. I think Dylan should back off a little bit with the moving out thing. Yeah. What shall we be in there? I know that's what I was thinking. What if someone pops There's out? Room downstairs. He's gonna lock them in there. And now how are you gonna possibly find it? No, but it would be kept in like a very particular Wait, do you think way. Your father died. Oh fuck. This huge shelf in the garage fell over on it. You really believe that? Yeah. What else is in there besides the belt? I feel like a body's gonna fall or something. I think she killed him, if you ask me. It makes sense. He was my dad. She wouldn't have killed my own dad. Mm. He was just unhappy. He didn't know how to deal with anything. Uh. There it is. Oh, there it is. Oh. <laughs> On my front porch. Oh, that's fine. We'll get under the motel. Come on. Yeah. Oh no, that's no. a bad idea. That's a terrible idea. How heavy is it? There. Hurry home. Now she's safe. Now let's uh, let's go home and pack up your stuff. <laughs> What's with that look? I know. Yeah. What? The water's running. No, the girl's like yeah. showering or something. Oh Who's no. Staying Nobody's staying here. No, you're giving him a reason to check it out. Oh my, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh, bam. Oh, you know, I forgot. One of the painters, uh, he drove up from Sacramento and I told him that he could, he could stay over. Why are you lying to me? I'm not lying, I just forgot. Oh my god! Oh, fuck. Are you serious? God damn it, Norma. Man, she really fucked this up. We did shit in the harbor. You're home free. Really? Norman and I are gonna go up to the house. Look, she's... Just... He's leaving with me tonight. She's not gonna tell him. Shelby's here. He, f he found the girl in the motel room and she ran and off she's the just so he's there casually and she's after her. Norman, why? Why? <laughs> uh, she's about to hypnotize him. Did you him. kill my father? <sighs> he did kind of believe what Dylan was saying. No, honey. You did. I didn't. We need Hold to on. go, Norman. Come on. That's not oh, oh, fuck. Emma's going to save the day with a beetle. Just hit him. <laughs> I'm just going to pull a, a Walter. <laughs> All right. Fuck. He's going to die. Shelby, you think? I loved your mother. And I would have taken care of her. Guess what? Norman doesn't now give a you fuck. Got in trouble. Zach, what are you doing? Zach. Zach. Get Norman. <laughs> He's not even scared. Uh, yeah. Lying. Oh. Oh my God. Norman. Oh my God. You think Look that's what happened face. to the dad? He started hitting her, and then he fucking snapped and. Yup. Look at his face. This is so good. Grab the gun. Oh fuck. Oh he got knocked out. Yeah, he fucking slammed the shit out of him. Oh. Fuck. 
Oh my god. Oh nice. fuck, got him. Oh, oh run! Fuck. Please, no, we have to get out of go here. Go hide, drag him. Let's go. Two shots, three shots. Somebody's trying to kill us. Fates Motel 4019 Highway 88. Please hurry, send the police. He's like, no, got a concussion, he's, probably. Yeah. Holy fuck. Throw him in the car. Like, don't make him do anything else. Where are they gonna go, though? I don't know. What's happening? My head hurts. <laughs> he he blacked like out. Us. Yeah. We're gonna walk. Get out of the car, Norman. Oh my god. Three no, shots. Just... That was Dylan. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, no, they're limping. Fuck. They're both blonde. I know, it's hard to tell. <laughs> no, he's shot and he's about to die. Yeah. <gasps> you see his face? Boom. Nice. Not what happened, so. I know, surety called. Kill the fucking cop. What's the matter with him? He'll be fine. I don't think he knows at all. I God, called the cops. He's blacking out, huh? Really? We're gonna tell him the truth, Norma. <laughs> Always I'm go with the with truth. This. You think you do, but you don't know the whole truth. Think you, you know, but you have no idea. MTV diaries. <laughs> <laughs> what? What, do, what don't I know? Let me tell you what happened that night that Sam died. Oh, shit. Oh, I know, it's not as glamorous as collecting disability, but... Mm, there you go. The blender? Ooh, that sounded solid. Oh my god. Oh my god. He's still in a... Norman. Weird, like, state, Norman, huh? look at me. Look at me. Look at... His eyes? He... Plays that really well. Oh, you just rest, okay? You just lie down. Oh my god. Things that heavy. Not in the shirt. That don't make sense now. Like, we already had our suspicions, right? Yeah. It, it, seeing it play out makes sense. What's wrong with her? I don't know. I don't know. Holy fuck, Maybe it was dude. an isolated incident. Yeah. He's gonna give up, huh? Fuck. Give himself away? Or his brother, maybe? Give up trying to get him to live with him. Oh. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. George A. Romero. Oh my god. Yup. You gonna have to deal with his bitch ass. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Such a good episode. What do you think's gonna happen? I don't know. I don't know if he can. Even if he doesn't believe them at all, I don't think he can just arrest them for. The fact that it was his partner right right he'd have to take down their the what is it, the report of what happened and what do you do i don't know what would happen <laughs> after then but it's true like everything is true yeah the person that fucked up was shelby yep and they were defending themselves and i wonder if romero knows anything of this or what if you know how romero's been kind of the pain in the ass yeah what if he shows up, they say what happened, and he's just like, yeah, Shelby was a fucked up dude. And I always kind of, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, he goes the other way, where we yeah. think he's going to go one way, but he's, he's actually... he's actually the good guy, mm -hmm. at least in this situation. Yeah, maybe. So. Uh-huh. We were right about yeah. him blacking out and killing his dad. We had mentioned it before, right? Mm-hmm. And she's been trying to cover it up for him. And it kind of makes sense why they're kind of like that close. Because if the dad was abusive as fuck, they only had each other, really. Yeah. So that makes sense why they're both kind of like dependent on each other. Yep. And 
why she protects him and why she talks to him the way she does cuz she knows he doesn't know what he's done. Yeah. She has this way of So like she manipulates him and it's yeah. horrible. Yeah. But she has this way of that she knows how to like handle him. Mhm. And I can kind of see why she wants to be so close to him, like you're saying. Um, ultimately, it is probably what's better for everyone. Um, and that he's not just kind of roaming around. Killing everyone. Because you just don't know. And she said <laughs> herself, like, it could have been one incident or there's something else there. Yeah. Um, seeing what happened back with Sam and actually watching it play out, I actually really feel for Norma. Because even though we had our suspicions of what happened, actually seeing her go through the shock of what her son just did and still trying to protect him and make him think, not letting him know what actually happened and like setting all of it up and taking the shower and like pretending, you know, like just doing the whole thing. She was ultimately trying to save her son from reality of what he did and yeah. I, I really like i i kind of like her a little bit more yeah and i feel that. like a lot of moms would do that yeah probably <laughs> right? right yeah um dylan is gonna i think he's gonna give up on trying to get him to move to in move with in him. with him yeah okay. dylan moved up by a lot it looks like because he's got a 23 years of experience guy working Re under him Remo? Remo. Who knows how you spell that? That's an odd name. I think Remo is probably training him, basically. Like, Remo does whatever Remo does really, really well. Yeah. And he's just training Dylan to be whatever position Dylan is meant to be. You think? That will eventually be higher than Remo. Yeah. I'm interested to see more Remo and... Like, just to see if their partnership grows. Mm -hmm. um, he seems kind of annoyed and, like, doesn't really care for Dylan. And, you know, just kind of dismissive a little bit. And I, it would be nice to see if he looks out for him. Kind of like Ethan a little bit. Yeah. And anything on that? I wonder... So, I'm guessing the police or at least Shelby was on the opposite end of whoever Ethan worked for, no? Uh, Gil? Jill? Gil? Whatever his name is? Mm-hmm. Gil? Like, opposite sides of, like, that rivalry? Maybe. Or, like, Shelby was not in the same work, but he probably was getting some kind of money from that side. Yeah. So Dylan's employer, or Gil, is, like, the rival, maybe? Right. You know what you mean? Yes. Yeah, it's possible because he looked at Dylan like, I know exactly who you work for, which it's only been not that long. I know. It's only been a few days. But I guess the town's already talking. Yeah. I wonder what's going to happen with the Asian girl, too, after she ran off. You think she died? I don't know. I hope not. I hope she didn't die. I didn't catch the name good. I was thinking I mean, that the reason why Shelby was so nervous was because he probably didn't catch her. And then when he came back home and he, they were sitting at the table, he's just kind of like, I have this mess and I have that mess. Yeah. And You look kind of hectic. Yeah. Which is very different because we've talked about how Shelby and and um, Norman, you can tell that there's something off about them, right? But then in that scene, you can really see how different Shelby is than Norman. Yeah. Shelby's over there like putting the gun and like you can see the emotion and the adrenaline going. And Norman is just he like checks a out robot. He fully checks out. Like there's no there's fear. no humanity in there. Yeah, that was that was really <laughs> really good to see. And yeah, just I think that's all I have for the, for them. Um, I'm really hoping nobody gets arrested. Norman, I don't know what's gonna happen to Norman and Emma. Yeah, Emma's gonna be asking questions about the girl. I wonder how that's gonna go. And Norma is going to, I think Norma's going to continue playing this 
mother role. But you said Emma's not dumb, and I think you're right. I think yeah. she'll catch on to well, the way Norma use, treats her. Yeah, she'll use it to her advantage, maybe, in some way. And she might even blame her for not acting quick enough and causing this girl possibly to lose her life. Yeah. Okay, I think that's all I have for this episode. I'm trying to make sure we didn't forget anything. But yeah, I really like this episode. Me too. It was, it was a lot. It was, yeah, it, it, was it like ramped it up for mm-hmm. this episode. But yeah, that's all I've got too. Okay. Then? Yes. All right. Well, if any of you have anything to add for this episode, just drop it down in the comments. Uh, it was, I think, the most exciting episode so far. So let us know what you think. And of course, no spoilers. Um, also like our video, subscribe to our channel, turn on the notifications, and we'll see you all next time. Thank you. Bye.